So, um, this is how my hair is looking. I came back from class and went to sleep and I just woke up. So that's why it looks like this. So I'm just going to take this down and you know, yeah, I was going to, I'm going, I'm going back out like to the student center to get some other things. So. That's why I'm redoing my hair and I just thought I'd do a tutorial for you guys so y'all can see how I usually do my hair if it's not down. Okay, so what I usually do is if when I wake up, sometimes it's like my hair has been like matted and you know, fuzzy. So what I do is I take some mousse and this is Nairobi's wrap in wrap and shine foaming lotion and I just put a little bit of that on the side of my head and, and I'll just I'll show you guys how I do it anyway and then I'll take new expressions carrot oil um, hair strength strengthener grease or whatever um, I don't know if you I don't exactly know where you can get these products you may can go to your uh, stylist or to um, like some type of hair supply store for black hair or african-american hair um, because my mom does hair and that's why I have these products just just because I I, I just have them um, anyway hold on okay so my hair is like this and so first I just take some of this and I usually take more but since I've already have I already have some on my hair and it's making it it looks really flat um, I'm just gonna put some on just to demonstrate for y'all and then also put some in the back like this and then I make sure I put some at the temples because I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with that area in a minute and then I comb it back like this comb the back up also next thing I do is I take my comb after the sides are all you know slicked down I brush my hair upwards like that now use my arm to kind of hold it and then I grasp it all with my hand like that like really quick I'm just combing it up into a high pony Make sure there's no bumps in the back or anything like that. Take my bow. I also use this bow as a bracelet too, so it's always on my arm if you've ever noticed. And when I'm putting my hair in a ponytail, I wrap it around twice and then on the third wrap right here, I just don't pull it all the way through. Just like that. And then next what I do is I take my thumbs, put it in the little, um, sec in, on the inside of my bun, and I take my pointer fingers and I pull it down like that. And I make it stretch a little bit and then I can kind of, kind of stretch it out make it a little loose. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take bobby pins and you're just going to, um, pin, I pin them to my head the sides put one right there and I take the other one on the other side Oops. and then I pin it down to my head like this also like that and then the last you can you can use as many as you need to pin down to your head I usually use about three in the bun itself but um when I'm pinning it down maybe like two or four but today I only use two and if also if your hair is already curled like say if you curled your hair and then you um wore it curly for a few days and then after a while it stopped stop getting so curly it's kind of like messy you don't know what to do with it this is like a, a perfect style to um to do 
after you have your hair curled. After your curls get old, this is a perfect style to do because it's easier for your hair to be pinned down when it's curled instead of straight, if that makes sense. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to take one more bobby, and I know it's really high and looks like a bow or whatever, but um, I like it like that. I don't know. Anyway, so last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take another bobby pin, and then I'm going to take my bun, put my hand on the back of it, push it up like that, and pin it to my actual hair. And it makes the bun high up in the air. And I know that, like, it looks kind of weird for some of like, Some people may think it's too high, but this is, like, too um, put together, too polished. Then, um, yeah. Because I know I like messy buns, too, but I usually just do this because it's so easier. But I just seriously push my head up, pin it, and then it's like a high bun. So I love that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, mousse again a little bit on my fingers really not much and put it on the edges and I'm gonna take my brush and just make little baby heads my mom used to do this to me when I was little all the time and I just take my nails and I just kind of bring it down like that yeah so that's my bun and I hope you guys like it really 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 simple um, I've always seen these buns on YouTube where you have to loop it around and pit it here and there and spray it um, I don't do that because I don't really like spraying my hair a lot because it builds up and then um, it, it just gets nasty after a while I'm really lazy about you know stuff like that so I never really um, spray my hair, spray my hair. If I do hair, spray my hair, it's with this Tresemme, um, Tres 2, um, because it's not so hard. Um, most of the time I just use this thing. Um, yeah, you don't have to use, um, don't have to use any hairspray. Um, and this is a great one for people who have, like, hair length right here, like a medium length hair. Um, I used to do this even when my hair was like to my chin and my neck. And I used to do this when my hair was like all the way down to um, my chest. So it's great for all different lengths. As long as you can put your hair in a ponytail, you can pretty much do this. So, yeah. Um, that's how I do my bun. And, yeah, and this is great for like a formal occasion. All you have to do is just make sure it's more neat and put together. And it's totally formal hair. But, like I said, I, I wore this today. No, I just wore jeans and this t-shirt and did my hair like this and it was still cute, you know? So, anyway, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks so much for watching and like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all later. Bye.